Okay. Um, sky this month. Away we go. Um, I have talked before about the Nova that's coming through T. Corona Borealis. Can everybody hear me back there in internet land? Well, hearing nothing, I shall move on. Um, I bring it up because it hasn't happened yet, and I'm sure it's worth catching. You're going to be able to see a hydrogen bomb go off that's the size of planet Earth, and it's 2,500 light years away, which means it's a safe distance. That'll be cool. We have a comet coming up, 2023 A3, Su Chin Shan Atlas. I practiced that a lot. There's another one coming, uh, which could be way awesome, uh, but we won't be able to see it from here, and I'll go into why. The Orionid meteor shower is happening later in October. And then I threw another bonus slide at, because I was too lazy to take out the title. So you've seen this in the last one. Vega on the left, Hercules, Corona Borealis, and Arcturus on the right. And if you look to the west, Vega will be up here. Arcturus will be there. Arc with a big dipper. And you can find Corona Borealis. It's a little semicircle. And the star that's circled in the little bullseye there, it's normally magnitude 10, <clears throat> which would be beyond me, I'm quite sure, even with binoculars. And it will blow up, literally, for about a week to magnitude 2. So it's not something you get to see every day. Now, Comet 2023A3, yada, 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 it's coming in from the Oort cloud, which is, it's the outskirts, definitely. It's barely within gravitational influence of the sun. Uh, it's whooping straight in. It's going to reach perihelion. Well, it did, September 27th at about the distance that Mercury is. It's going around the sun and it came in from the south. And people in the southern hemisphere could see it clearly coming in and it brightened considerably. Uh, but it's below the horizon for us, only it's going to go around the sun and head up north, north and west no east anyway so this picture came out of brazil september 30th you can see a crescent moon right down on the horizon on the left but that's a pretty impressive little comment now there's two things in this picture with tails Any any ideas? Owl. Yeah, where? On the tree. Yep, great horned owl. He's a bird photographer. And, you know, serendipitous. And this is a Stellarium ephemeris. And about the 10th, we might have a shot of seeing it. But it will move nightly, the 11th, 12th, 13th, and so on, up to the 26th. It moves up and to the left. I picked up Venus uh, right after sunrise the hard way because I've got fir trees across the road. And I managed to see it through the branches about three degrees above the horizon. So that's, that's an accomplishment for me. Um, but this is where this comet is going. And it may, may 
reach. I mean, McNaught was bright enough that you could see it in daylight, because I did. That was 2007. And then there was hale -Bop, which was amazing. That was 97, I think. This one could get really bright. Uh, this screenshot is uh, October 11th, so 7.20 p.m. That's the best time to look, and you can watch it go up and left. <laughs> There's another one. 2024 S1. Uh, so named because they found it in September of 2024 in the first half or something like that. I don't know the naming conventions. It's a sun grazer. This is a predicted, in air quotes, brightness. You can see it should peak at minus 10. Yeah. Like, that's, that's amazing. Uh, that's very much theoretical. When I say it's a sun grazer, if this is the sun, it's here. It's less than the diameter of the sun away from the sun. And there's some interesting stuff that comes, yeah, your SPF 2 billion won't help, okay? This thing is going to do this. It may not survive. Lots of them haven't. There's a whole class of these Roots sun grazers. Um, and live fast, die young. That's what these ones do. This is a screenshot from heavens above. That little diagram down at the bottom left in that screenshot of the sun, that's pretty much the scale. This thing is going to go around the sun in hours not days or weeks. And you may notice the single bit of red on the screen. I changed that to highlight it. Speed relative to the sun is 313 kilometers per second. Any guesses as to what the speed of light is? 300,000 kilometers per second. This thing is traveling at one-tenth percent the speed of light. And it's big. So this is the fastest thing that we'll ever lay eyes on. Um, I mean, imagine it. Time is actually moving a little more slowly for this comet because it's in relativistic performance. And... Man, that, that trip around the sun, it's going to pull some serious G going around that. Anyway, it's in free fall. Uh, it may survive. Nobody knows. We won't see it because from seashell, it comes up, goes around the sun, and goes right back down. It's coming in from the south, and it leaves via the south. Does a little loop for a few hours over the top of the sun and it's too close, we won't see it. However, yeah, 313 kilometers a second, that's kind of mind blowing. We get the Orionid meteor shower in October and that is from Comet Halley, which I didn't know until I decided to research it. We've got a moon, regrettably. Uh, it, it will spread about two days either side of October 21st. So the trick there is just find a good place to look up. After midnight, the radiant is above the horizon in the east. You'll see Jupiter, Mars down at the lower left. Uh, and just look up. And these puppies move 60 kilometers a second. Um, Anyway, uh, look up. They have trails. They're, they're pretty spectacular. What else? Oh, yeah. 
this one was taken in April, I believe. No, late May. There we are. Um, those are two distant galaxies. There's no reference. This is uh, an astronomy picture of the day screenshot. If you don't hit that every day, you can't call yourself an astronomer. Okay, sorry to break it to you, but there it is. Um, I wish when I was into astrophotography and had the eyesight and the strength to handle all that stuff that I had the equipment and the technology to do it, you know, this style. However, or, you know, a computer-driven telescope. So there we are. Bidia, bidia, that's all, folks. <laughs>